This is Star 5 Vision 5 with RISC V Sci Fi U74 dual core 64 bit CPU at 1 GHz with 2 MB L2 cache and 8 GB of RAM memory. I'm super excited because in my hands I have a brand new Star 5 Vision 5 single board computer with RISC-V CPU capable of running Linux. This is the first generation of affordable computers for makers capable of running Linux with the RISC-V uh, CPUs. I have been using it for a couple of days and in this video I would like to share my experience. The video is divided into chapters. The first chapter is about unboxing. After that I'll show you how to get started using Fedora Linux distribution which I will install on a micro SD card and I'll boot it on the Vision 5 development board. After that I'll show you how to use uh, UR to USB serial debug cable to get some uh, serial information uh, from the bootloader on this device. Um, after that we'll do a comparison with uh, Raspberry Pi and other popular single board computers and finally we'll wrap it up with some conclusions. So let's get started. Vision 5 comes in a very convenient packaging which includes a plastic box and a piece of paper around it. On the back we read, Vision 5 is the world's first generation of affordable RISC-V single board computer designed to run Linux, giving developers freedom and power to innovate and design industry leading solutions. Furthermore, on the back there are links to the user guides which are the community at rvspace.org and the github repository of star5 tech by the way some useful links are available in the description of the video let's have a quick look at the technical specifications vision 5 comes with risk 5 sci 5 u74 dual core 64 bit cpu running at 1 gigahertz with 2 megabytes of l2 cache furthermore there is a vision DSP Tensilica VP6 for computing vision running at 600 MHz. The board has 8 GB of LP DDR4 RAM memory. The wireless connectivity available with Vision 5 is 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2. Vision 5 has 4 USB 3 ports. There is a 40 pin GPIO header just like on a Raspberry Pi which includes 28 GPIOs, including I2C, I2S, SPI, and UART. The board has a gigabit Ethernet connector, 3.5 mm audio jack, micro SD card slot from which the system boots, reset, and power buttons. There are slots for two camera interfaces as well as an HDMI port, which is used to connect the Vision 5 board to a monitor. The dimensions of Star 5 Vision 5 are 100 mm by 72 mm or in other words 10 cm by 7.2 cm. This means that Star 5 Vision 5 is slightly bigger than a Raspberry Pi. On the printed circuit board you can identify 7 mounting holes which allow you to put Vision 5 in an appropriate case. Now let's get started with the real work and boot a Linux distribution on Star 5 Vision 5. As of the moment, there is a Fedora image available. So step number one is to visit rvspace.org to follow a link to GitHub and download the image. The image is huge. It's 3.5 gigabytes, so even with fast internet connections, it still takes a huge amount of time to download it. Step number two. Plug a micro SD card in your computer. In my case, I'm using a Kingston external card reader. Step number three, using the Z standard command line interface, extract the downloaded archive. On my computer, I'm using Ubuntu Linux distribution, so it is pretty much straightforward. However, if you're uh, running Windows, you need to download and install the Z standard command line interface software. Beware, this step requires several gigabytes of free disk space and takes some time. Step number four, flash the image to a micro SD card. There are many free and open source tools to do it. I recommend you to use Balena Etcher as I do in this video. 
as you can see i'm selecting the extracted image from the archive and flashing it to the micro sd card balana etcher will validate the flashed image and when it's ready it will notify you step number five is wiring plug the micro sd card in vision 5 attach peripherals such as usb keyboard and mouse if possible attach an ethernet cable and finally plug the usb-c cable to turn on the board it's highly recommended to use a powerful adapter to provide at least two amperes of power to the board as soon as you provide power by plugging the usb-c cable the board should boot the image from the micro sd card now let's enjoy the fedora image which is booting from the micro sd card the default username is risk5 which is written as risk v and the password is star5 by the way i'm using hdmi to usb2 uh, dongle to capture the output from vision 5 hdmi port using the free and open source software obs Using the magic of the video editing, I have increased the speed of the booting process. As soon as the Linux distribution boots, I'm opening a terminal. Let's check the software versions. We're running Linux kernel 5.15, built for 64-bit RISC CPU, and we have Fedora release 33. Fedora keeps a six-month release schedule, and Fedora Linux 33 was released in October 2020. As of the moment, the latest stable version of Fedora is 35. As you can see, the hardware is properly detected. We have a dual-core RISC-V CPU and 8 GB of RAM memory. I'm running Star 5 Vision 5 without a heatsink or a fan. So let's use this opportunity and check the temperature in either mode. As you can see, it's about 30 32 degrees celsius this is a pretty good result however if you're planning to do some high computing tasks get a heatsink and a fan in this chapter i'll show you how to use usb to uart converter for early debugging of the boot process of star 5 vision 5. vision 5 has a 40 pin header just like raspberry pi i'll be using pins 8 and 10 to connect the debugger I'm going to connect only three wires. Ground goes to ground, Rx of the board goes to Tx of the converter, and Tx of the board goes to Rx of the converter. There are various different uh, USB to UART converters on the market. In the particular example, I'm using the popular C-Labs CP1202 chip. Depending on the vendor of your USB to UART cable as well as the operating system on your computer, you may need to install additional drivers. There are many free and open source applications to communicate over UART. In the particular example, on my laptop which is running Ubuntu, I'm using screen with the standard bolt rate 115200. UART stands for Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. This is a computer hardware device for asynchronous serial communication. It allows you to get the early output from the board while it's still running the bootloader. Furthermore, it's a standard and very convenient way to get output from an embedded device which is headless, in other words, that is not connected to a monitor, or even a device that's not connected to the internet when you cannot do SSH. As you can see, using this USB to UART converter, I'm able to log in remotely over command line interface from my computer to Star 5 Vision 5. The username and the password are of course the same because it's the same Fedora image that we've seen in the previous chapter. Star 5 Vision 5 is not the first affordable uh, single board computer with RISC-V capable of running Linux, which I'm using and reviewing on YouTube channel. Several months ago, I had a video about Beagle 5, which was a prototype of a single board computer uh, developed between the Beagle Board Foundation, Seed Studio and Star 5. Unfortunately, due to unknown to me reasons, the Beagle 5 was not released on the market. 
However, Star 5 is back with their own uh, development board uh, capable of running uh, Linux with their own CPU. Both of these boards had Star 5 CPUs actually and uh, Vision 5 has a newer version, newer generation of the CPU which uh, performs significantly better in terms of heating. Therefore, the uh, Star 5 Vision 5 is provided without a heatsink and without a fan. Of course, there is a connector and if you want, you can add it. But as you have seen in this video, the Vision 5 works fine in a normal room temperature for, uh, uh, for doing uh, regular tasks. Speaking about single board computers, definitely the gold standard is Raspberry Pi. Vision 5 Star 5 is larger in terms of dimensions compared to a regular Raspberry Pi and even significantly larger if you compare it to Raspberry Pi Zero. But of course, the major difference is not the size, it is the computer architecture. Raspberry Pi uses Broadcom ARM systems on a chip as Star 5 Vision 5 is with RISC 5 CPU. Raspberry Pi has an enormous community and excellent software support. On the other hand, Vision 5 is just starting, so join the community and help to improve the software. Obviously, the major advantage and best selling point of Star 5 Vision 5 is that it comes with system on a chip relying on the RISC-V computer architecture. On numerous occasions, I've mentioned low cost and affordable while describing Star 5 Vision 5. But what really is the price and where can you buy it? The board is already available on the market and you can get it for as low as $180. It's even available at AliExpress and Amazon, depending on your location additional taxes might be added. For example, in Bulgaria, I have to pay 20% VAT. That's definitely an affordable price compared to the 1000 US dollars without taxes price tag for the High 5 Unleashed board, which was released in 2018. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and now it's time to wrap it up with some conclusions. First, the most important thing, I'll repeat it once again. Star 5 Vision 5 is an affordable single board computer with RISC-V CPU capable of running Linux. It's available on the market. Yes, even today, when we live in times of global chip shortage, which is affecting almost all hardware projects and products, Star 5 resellers have Vision 5 in stock and they're offering it on the market. I'm really excited that the low price of development boards with Risk 5 will make them popular among makers. The more makers we have, the bigger community we have around Risk 5 means that more people will innovate, will experiment, will create cool things with them and most importantly improve the software. The only disadvantage that I would highlight of this board as of the moment is the poor software support and this is normal because this is a new board on the market a new architecture and um, if it becomes popular more and more people will start porting various linux distributions to it and uh, showcase various projects with it as of the moment star 5 uh, is providing a fedora image which is huge I had some issues with it, but there were entirely software. I'm sure that over the time there will be uh, fixes for them. So my recommendation is go and get one of these boards and start uh, writing software for it. And you have a lot of fun and you learn new things. Hopefully in the coming uh, years, we'll see more and more RISC-V development boards from various companies appearing on the market. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.